<laughs> Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. The One Shot Edition. Thanks for coming by. Uh, you're in for a real treat. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome aboard. If you've come back for more, Latin for punishment. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap like a phone case or a t-shirt or a duvet cover or a skateboard or uh, I don't know. We've got a lot of crap that we sell. Uh, wait for a sale. Sales come around all the time. Wait for a sale. Don't buy anything. Nothing's on sale right now, so don't buy it. Oh, okay. It. Uh, yeah. Don't. Uh, wait for the sales. Uh, shout out to... No, no, no. I, I digress. Uh, as I said, this is a one shot. And most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot with us or on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. Uh, we will get you on there uh, just like John and Jeff. Uh, John, of course, is returning uh, from convention world to, uh, I don't know, I, I guess he's glutton for punishment, but he's here. <laughs> and uh, he has somehow uh, talked to Jeff into showing up. And we appreciate that. So if you want to join us, that's how you do it. Uh, shout out to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice. I will not use Big Red tonight. These guys are only second level. Uh, if Thank I God. use Big Red, I'll freaking die. Uh, if you want custom made dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, let them know what you want. Uh, and uh, if they have time, they'll go ahead and do it. Also, if your game stinks, unlike ours, because our games are always high quality. But if your game stinks, try a little Adventure Sense. Mmm, they smell great. It open. They, yeah, it's, it's a zippered <laughs> pouch. It's great. Adventure Sense is by oddfishgames.com. I have they coffee make, shop. It's very good. I, Ooh, that's a good at, one for you to get, too. Considering. Pirate ship is what I'm looking at. I like Mayan ruins. Uh, they also make the shine system. So if you want to write gooder than me, uh, <laughs> check out their shine system. Uh, coming soon <laughs> is how to uh, RPG with your cat. <laughs> as a Kickstarter. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping to harangue them to be on the show to go ahead and pitch it. Mm, I played it great. Uh, and it's gonna be fun. Uh, folks, like I said, this is a one shot. These guys are going on a two delve. Uh, long story short, they uh, had a little problem uh, getting from point A to point B. They found an entrance to an old tomb and they're gonna go ahead and investigate it. But first, let's introduce you to the players. We will start with Carol. Carol, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Who am I? Well, I, as he said, my name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and a commission mini painter. Uh, to normally, let's see, I'm on the Thursday night cred campaign. You're unmuted, right? Cthulhu, basically, Cthulhu rises, everyone dies. And I'm on between the roles a lot. And tonight, though, I'm playing my Dampier Paladin, Shaden Larkspur. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I, I hate the weird ones. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> and yes. I don't mean her character. I mean her PC in general. Uh, next up, ooh, throwing shade already at Shade then. Yeah, but um, boom. Next up is John. John, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Hey, uh, my name is John Bullen. I'm a longtime gamer since uh, the old Blue Box Holmes edition. And... Uh, I mostly DM, so tonight I get to play. That's nice. And uh, I will uh, be playing no one you know who is a <laughs> spy, uh, former spy, now turned into a warlock because he opened the wrong book and, uh, and read it and thing. it messed him up. So uh, now he's an adventurer because he kind of got, like, he, he doesn't even remember where he works. So that's good, I guess. Oh, I'm going to screw with that character. Uh, next <laughs> no up is Carrie. One, you know, that's uh, normally great. behind the camera tonight, behind and in front of the camera. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Carrie. I'm married to the DM. And I've been playing, I don't know, since as long as we've been doing this. I don't do it very well, so <laughs> I just fill in. Um, I am playing Chrysilla Monty. She is a Kenku. And. You might have heard of my game that I invented. Three card Monty. That's me. Oh. <laughs> <Ice>. <laughs> that was me. Mine. I'm so boring in comparison to these people. Uh, last but certainly not least, Jeff. New meat, fresh meat, new blood. <laughs> Jeff, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. 
I'm uh, Jeff. Uh, I'm a uh, formerly unretired uh, gamer. Uh, I'm playing a human cleric uh, named Friar Thomas, who's always in for a good drink. Will even heal for uh, ale. Heal for and ale. You're gonna, you gonna drink anything in the tomb tonight? Mm. That's right. <laughs> We shall see. Folks, as I said, this is one shot. Uh, we're kind of starting in the middle of the future publication of this POS, which is uh, the 100th thing I wrote for Murder Hobo Inc., which is kind of a milestone. Uh, and I just read it about five minutes ago. It's not very good. Uh, but anyway, these guys have found the secret entrance to a set of crypts. Uh, you guys crawl down a circular set of stairs. The stairs appear to have been carved directly out of the cliffs with some natural pockets as well. Religious etchings are spotted. Uh, everybody give me a religion check, please. To see if religion. You do it. I get religion? Let's see. I do get religion. Oh, Lord. Four. This isn't very good, though. Oh, oh hey, I get this. Wait, is that what that is? Pagan. Yeah, I got the same roll as Carrie. I got a four. Pagan over here. <laughs> no one in Friar? I got a ten. Oh, God. You're the cleric, for God's sake. Don't you have any... <laughs> I got a 12. No, our uh, dice suck. You guys have... Yeah, it's like being on the cred system. Those guys Shut up. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> if this were <laughs> uh, calamity, man, we'd have some 20s out there. Uh, none of you recognize this ancient religion. Uh, this, that's probably a good thing, right? Everybody's probably dead in here. Uh, you descend nearly 50 feet until you finally reach a landing spot. And as luck would have it, there's a barrel of torches right there uh, if you want to light it. Do I even? I don't really even need it, per se. Friar Thomas is blind as a bat right now, I'm guessing. That's right. <laughs> we will light us a torch. Uh, as you look around, you see a lot of spider webs, not like giant uh, Thank God. pincer adventure eating ones, uh, but a lot of little ones. The cobblestone floor doesn't look like it's been tread upon in quite some time. There's a uh, there's a aroma, if you will, of decay and possibly moisture somewhere. Uh, as you as you look around uh, in this landing. You notice that uh, there's a heavy set of dust on the floor, so clearly no one has been here. The smell is really uh, obtrusive, however. Um, you know, but it's a tomb, so you should smell decay. Uh, all of the walls seem to be consistent. They seem to be hewn out of the cliffs that you guys uh, witnessed while you were outside in green room. Uh, so everything looks to be not great but uh certainly stable uh there's no du no dust falling from the uh stone ceilings the ceilings are kind of pitched uh and in this area you find uh two doors one to your left one to your right uh, but you also notice that the temperature has dropped substantially since you went down 50 feet and you find yourselves uh, in this chamber that is somewhat irregular. Uh, <laughs> and here there is an inset on the far wall uh, with a pile of old bones in it. Uh, and that's about all you see, which is really good news, because if you would have seen, you know, shit like footprints, eh, you'd be in trouble. So, so, brave adventurers, what do you want? So... Are these all like closed caskets in here? Are we not it is seeing? an out. It is an open alcove inset. Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, something like you'd see so like uh, a catacomb. Uh, yeah, under Paris, perhaps. So uh, just bones everywhere. Just one, one inset. Uh, now, keeping in mind with the religious inscriptions, and above ground was a church. Uh, everybody give me a wisdom check. Check. Check, not say. Seven. Outstanding. You need to go to the cred system. Uh, five. <laughs> I, Ooh, in I investigate four. the bones and see if there's anything I can take. Okay. Fourteen. And Friar Thomas. Thirteen. 
Uh, Friar Thomas and uh, Shadlin. Uh, Shaden. <laughs> I, you know, I think I, I think I kept botching that last time too. Uh, you? you guys surmise, uh, not with one hundred percent certainty, but perhaps these are the religious fellows who built the old church above. Uh, you notice that the Kenku, aka Raven person, uh, has wandered with total abandon and disregard for the cobblestone. We like shiny things. Moving through the bones. Uh, it's uh, the, the the religious writing. Is it some language we recognize, or it's, a, it's not a language that we understand? Not a language at all. It uh, appears oh. more of uh, pictographs. Okay. Uh, can can the can you see in the dark? I can't remember. Uh, I, I, it didn't really say. Did it you say dark? You, does you have dark vision? It doesn't say I do. No, I don't think mean... it does. Nope, no dark vision. Okay. Uh, so in the flickering light of Friar Thomas's torch, uh, you are just casting a five foot shadow onto this pile of bones. Uh, give me a perception check. Hey, Frank? Yes? Could I act because I'm in a place full of bones? Why not? Uh, activate, what the heck is it called? Eyes of the... Those, divine sense, divine sense. Sure. Uh, I can detect... What was it? Und, like, undead... You can sense anything affected by the hell spell, no location of any celestial fiend and undead within 60 feet. Yes. <laughs> Does that mean I, I sense undead within 60 feet? Left and right, but not in front. I got 15. Oh boy. And then I go, do I sense if that they're coming in? Uh, 15 is good enough. The Kenku uh, raises its feathery paw. Ha ha! I have found. No. Four pieces uh, of parchment. No, put those away. Wax. Can you say you don't find them, please? A loot scrolls, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a free accessory at Adventures and. I will take art. them all and stiff them in my feather. Wow! Screw it over the party already. That's uh, what I do. The Kenku <laughs> says, "Nope, the party. didn't find anything." <laughs> uh, two doors. I want to activate my. Uh, Eldritch invocation. Uh, <laughs> I have a uh, Eldritch Sight, which basically lets me uh, free will cast Detect Magic, and uh, I want to I want to use Detect Magic underneath her feathers. These things are magical indeed. Hmm. I'll just make a mental note. She can she can keep them. Trust me, she can keep. I'm just kidding. That's meta. Oh no no! You gotta have them. Oh no. man, I sealed these good. You cannot do shit with them. Uh, Shaden, uh, there's undead to your left, there's undead to your right, all within 60 feet. I will tell everyone that. Um, although I'm not 100% sure if that actually sense goes through <laughs> closed doors, but let's roll with it. Uh, I want something to look up later. Uh, I will mention that there's definitely some, it seems like there's active undead beyond those doors on both the left and right side of us. That's unfortunate. What do you think we should do? With you? Which way do you want to go first? Because probably waiting for them... Do I sense that they're getting closer? Uh, it seems to uh, come in waves. I move to the back of the party. Well, uh, guts by the road. Well, that depends. <laughs> that depends on which direction we go. Maybe that's the whichever front of direction the party. we're going. I'm at the back. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! Is it, I'm at uh, the front. Undead, isn't that your expertise? My expertise is drinking. And hold it a torch. <laughs> Undead might be more my expertise. Uh, let's see. So, which way do you guys want to go? Left or right? Do we feel like we have investigated this room thoroughly enough? Can I investigate the doors to see if that looks like there's anything different about them? Uh, the doors are actually the same. They are rounded on top. Uh, the wood is old, probably from the region. Uh, it has swollen and uh, <coughs> desiccated. 
itself uh, reasonably. The bottom is well worn. Uh, the smell that you guys notice isn't coming from the pile of bones that Crisilla was examining. It's coming from underneath the doors. The doors. Uh, Shaden, give me a perception check. Is it really, really bad and strong? The smell. I don't smell it. I'm a bird. Perception 14 plus... It's making me hungry. 16. Uh, the right side, the, the door on your right, uh, seems to have lessened in intensity while both the smell and a slight scuffing noise from the left door uh, that no one you know is investigating seems to be a little bit more active. Friar okay, Thomas, so... there is no ale here in this room. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't bring a flask with you? I brought my mug. Not the, not the same thing. You should have a flask. That's the best way to carry any alcohol into these things. And I don't know what the hell. Should pull out a flask and screw it. Swig a little. Here, you want some? You know what, Friar Thomas? Roll a d20. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Nope. Nothing oh. happens. Yeah. He must have spilt it whenever he was running from all those goblins. You need a carabiner for your mug. Nice. <laughs> That's I right. don't think I don't think there's a uh, flying J. Flying J. Flying J down here. Okay, wait, boys and girls. Uh, door I on the left. left. So I Let's will. Yeah, right. I will. I will tell them which one was it. The left one. The the undead kind of moved away, and the right one is the one they're more active. Correct. She want to go right. Oh no! I want to go left. Sorry. Okay, Bye. I can't. I can't figure. Uh, we'll go left. Uh, I draw a weapon, though. I definitely draw out... Uh, what the hell do I use? I assume a sword. Draw so, my what's sword my marching shield? order? I know that uh, three of you are fighting for the back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the front. I'm upset. I'm playing a paladin, so it makes sense. I'm in the front. Okay, so are you going to open the door? Uh, can I make a check to see? I'm not a rogue or anything, but I can still look. Can I make some sort of a check? Is it investigation or per se? It's investigation, right? To see if there's any booby traps on the door. Well, let me see. I, I do actually have a. I'm not very good at it, but uh, but that's eleven. Does the door look okay? Sure, looks okay. old. I can search both the doors. I'm I'm pretty good at finding traps. So. Now, no one, uh, give me a pers- give me an investigation check. You've been rolling poorly most of the night, but I I have an idea here. Uh, great. <laughs> that time I got eighteen in plus an investigation of uh, where is that yeah. four? So twenty two total. In the flickering shadows uh, from Friar Thomas's illuminated torch, you notice that while there is no disturbance in the dust on the floor, there is a disturbance around the wall. Say a scuffing as if recent passage has been done. You notice the scuffing on both the door on the left and on the right, but whoever it was, was hugging the wall. And not walking on the floor. Uh, not walking dead across the center like your rogue did. <laughs> oh, gotcha. So I, I do see footprints on the floor next to the wall. So we should... Okay. So we should... We can open the door, but kind of sneak in... Maybe stay away from the middle of the room. There must be some reason that I, I warn everybody, careful, don't get too close to the middle of the room. It looks like someone has come through here intentionally avoiding it. Yeah, Ken Koo. <laughs> uh, so so we're, going to the, we're going to the door on the left? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to the door on the left. Go ahead, Paladin. Uh, the door looks normal. Okay, I'm going to open it. Uh, you open the door and discover a rotting corpse in the center of the floor. Three additional alcoves set into the wall are home to skeletal remains and old robes. A burnt torch lays next to the body, which appears to be only a few days old as there's still some meat on it. Greasy. And there is another door in the far corner. Can we tell how that person was killed? Was it like... You're going to have to go examine the body. 
Uh, I will go. I'll stay. I, we want to stay to the sides, right, in all the rooms. So <laughs> I want to stay inside, but I'm going to go up and I want to look. Is the body in the middle of the room? Body is in the middle of the room. Okay. So as you walk into this squared room, the wall that you walk in on has no alcove. Alcove, 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 door in far corner. Let me check something. How long does Divine Sense last, by the way? It doesn't matter because as you guys open the door and start to enter, okay. you hear the crackling of bones and oh. the robes seem to rise up. Oh, wonderful. Everybody roll initiative as there are enemy yeah. skeletons here. There's of course a skeleton. Hey, I rolled good this time. 17. Which means my attack rolls are going to suck. That would be a 19. 21. 14. I too rolled a 19. 21. Mm. Uh, no one you know as you look over the shoulder of Shaden Shade uh, in the flickering <laughs> torch light uh, presented by Friar Thomas, you see uh, manifestations of the robes rising above and you hear the crinkling of old bones. Would you like to push Shaden into the pile or shut the door behind her? <laughs> or no. leave her to her devices. I would uh, kind of reach I'm over her to... with my uh, with my uh, focus, whatever it is. I guess it's some kind of a wand looking thing, mm -hmm. and blast at the uh, bones to try to blast it sure. with the Eldritch blast. Eldritch blast. With a. Uh, Uh, that's a 17. That hits. Okay, it's a D10, but I also get to add, because I have the invocation of whatever it's called, <laughs> Agonizing Blast, it gives me a kinetic charisma bonus with it. So, seven. Nicely done. Uh, you are going after number one. Uh, next up are the 19s. Uh, Shaden. Uh, I will step in so that people can get in. Um, and well, actually, I will. I'll go engage something. Is there anything within like really close to me, or if I got to move into the room? Uh, the room's not very big. It's probably twelve by twelve, so you can move in and still attack one. Uh, the one on the left is what uh, no one hit with his uh, magical arcane abilities. Uh, there's one directly in front of you and one flanking you towards the right. Mm, I want to kind of... I think I'll engage the middle one so I can maybe Number get all two. three of them on me. Uh, sure. So, go all right, it. let me go try to hit up. <coughs> I'm using my... Yeah, I'm using my long sword. Yippee. Oh, Jesus. Don't tell me the dice crap is happening again. But that, well, yeah, that's only, Jesus, it's only an 11. Cred loser. Swap, yep. wah, swing and miss. Uh, the skeletons move forward since there's only two of you available. Uh, one to three goes after Shaden. Uh, the other, nope, three. Uh, Shaden, you're going to have two skeletons. That's fine. Uh, no one you know, you're going to have one skeleton all right um, when you attack no one you know uh i will since he is like he's right with me right yep he's right within five feet uh then he, you can roll a disadvantage on the attack because i entered you interject with my shield uh on you <laughs> that's horrible <laughs> does a 16 get you no nope. oh, yeah Oh, wait. Who? Oh, wait. Are you getting no one? Sh no, Shaden. Okay. No, 16 misses. Okay. Add disadvantage on no one. Yep. Uh, I see a not, I see a pair of nines. So I'm guessing <laughs> that one. No, no one you know. Uh, next up is the Kenku near the back of the party. When I say near the back of the party, probably at the back of the party, arm in arm with Friar Thomas. Um... <laughs> Okay, so first it says I have sneak attack. How does that work? Uh, you can go after anyone that uh, you can get to uh, that doesn't realize you're there. 
that would be any of them. If, and any anything that's engaged with one of us, you can you can either shoot or you can come up and shank. So, is everybody in the doorway? Can I get around with one of them? You can take a step to the left and shoot the one on the right. Hmm. Shooting the one in the center and the one on the left will put both Shaden and no one in harm's way. Well, so I was thinking since I'm small and fairly dexterous, I could just climb over the top of them. You could. <laughs> They've already gone, so that's fine. Okay, I do that. Okay, give me a dex check. Let's see how dex scared is you really are. <laughs> oh, that good. Damn it. Oh, oh no. Five. <laughs> were, were you climbing over the paladin or the warlock? Uh, the warlock. Fair enough. Uh, no one you know. Uh, Freaking Kenku's climbing on you like a rhesus monkey. <laughs> Give me a dexterity check to see if you maintain your balance. All right. You all go for a tumble. This is a saving throw or a check? Check. Check, check. Oh. Synchronicity. All right. It's 11. Uh, you will be able to stand. Uh, Chrysilla, you lose your attack Damn round. It. Friar Thomas, uh... You are up. Your associates have all entered the building. You are holding the illumination, and you see just a demoralizing moment as the Kenku tries to climb up and over the warlock, but fails miserably. Well, normally I'm the life of the party, but apparently not. I'm going to uh, move <laughs> over and try to hit uh, one of the skeletons with the sacred flame. Sure. Uh, number three would probably be your best bet. All right. You don't have to uh, roll for that. He has to roll for it. Oh. It's a DC, whatever 13? DC. Yeah, yeah 13. Uh, that is going to be a nine. So, no. How much damage? It is 1d8. Let me. Five. Not bad. Uh, top of the order, 21. Uh, no one you know as the damn Kenku climbs over you like some kind of pet. Uh, you have maintained your balance, so you will be able to attack this round. I will go ahead and like spin my wand and just kind of go and zap the one that already hit. If it's uh, still within, if it's not, if no, if it's not being impeded, if it's if you know if someone else has stepped in front of it, I'll I'll shoot a different one. Uh, you'll be fine. Because the Kenku is the one that stuck. I'm flailing you. at the, your feet, probably. <laughs> caw, caw! <laughs> I've, uh. Let's see. That's a 16. Oh, that hits. And it is, uh. 11 damage. That is enough to smash the pile of bones, scattering them, causing them to skitter across the old cobblestone floor. Nineteens, Shaden, and the other two skeletons are. Come on, you fucking die! Can I move to the side so that? Nope. Of the doorway, also. Sure. No, I'm gonna miss again because I can't. Fucking look at shit. Because you suck. Uh, also, no. this is for mature audiences because Swamp Mouth there uh, can't keep her mouth shut. Hey, you know, you know what? It, I don't suck when it's the dice that are rolling down. Are you using mine? No, I can't. No, I need a new set. for. The, basically, they only really work well for the character they were made for. Okay, well, then you need to tell me what you want. Uh, one or two. I gotta get I gotta get DJ to come up with what he wants for Brand so we can do them together. Okay. Fire Thomas and Shaden are gonna take the uh, attacks. Same deal, by the way. Gotcha. Shaden. Oh, that's an eighteen. Uh, oh, that you, that'll hit. Thou art speared. Uh, Friar Thomas, as you hold the illumination high, a three and a six, so you do not get. <laughs> Because it's Shaden, I'm using Murder Hilda dice. Of course. Boom! I see stick figures take six hit points there, Shaden, oh, no. as you okay, get speared. So three oh, down. that's not good. Okay. Uh, next up is the Kenku, brushing off the <laughs> old crypt dust. 
Um, so we've got two left on Shaden. Uh, one on Shaden, one on Friar Thomas. Okay. Who is holding the light, so he's kind of an important uh, asset. All for right. You. I guess I will go after that one. Okay. And you got to climb up uh, Friar Thomas. No, no, up. no. <laughs> um, Still go underneath the robe. Yeah, He's I'm the rapier gonna... between the legs. I was thinking about that. That'd be but I thought, so great. Yeah. Um. So yes, yeah, so I'll use my rapier to hit. Now, Father Thomas, I don't know if you realize this, but if any of your colleagues roll a one, that means one of your party gets hit. Just to give you the heads up. Or themselves. Or themselves. Their weapon goes uh -huh. flying into the river. I get nineteen. <laughs> nineteen hits. Oh, so I get. This is a finesse weapon and piercing, so it's not going to have its full effect, but you will get your sneak attack bonus. Plus nine. What's my sneak attack bonus? E6. Uh, da, 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 You're using your finesse weapon. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna give you a D6. Okay. So nine for the, that, and then two. So eleven. Yep. Uh, nice, Father Thomas. A rapier appears out of nowhere, right next to your neck, and pokes the skeletal uh, creature in the eye socket. Uh, it wiggles back a smidge, and it is now your turn. All burn right, it we're gonna, burn it <laughs> we're gonna do our sacred flame again yeah. <coughs> no just use the torch it's got robes sacred flame right right oh that's a two on that saving throw <laughs> so it takes seven uh and that is enough to use your holy powers to shatter the dusty morrow out of it. As we begin round three, uh, no one you know, there is a singular one left, but it's on Shaden. So would you like to explore the room? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to move like, so that I'm not gonna be shooting right at her. So hopefully, you know, if I, unless I roll um, a one, I may not hit her. Uh, that's the only time you'd hit me is if you roll a one. <laughs> And that's just to get a better angle, and then I'll blast away at it. Sure. 15. 15 is good enough to hit. All right. Then uh, it's ooh, kind of low, but seven damage. Not terrible. Fair, fair enough. The 19s, Shaden and these solitary Come on, skeleton. you motherfucking trash mouth. Oh. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. That's, that's better. I assume I'll have 14 the hell was that? 14. Yep, that hits. Why? Right, something just went bang. Either hopefully my house just didn't blow up. That was the skeleton. DJ, you're just said DJ's watching. The house didn't blow up, right? <laughs> All right, so what is my damage? I think what? I'm just going to do damage here. Uh, so 1d8 plus Really? One. You aren't going to heal him? No, well, I mean, I ah. can smite. I can smite his ass. Well, remember, you tied, so it's still going to get an attack. But do your worst. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even know if it's... Oh, it's right. It's the resistance. It's not like uh, DR. Uh, that's terrible. That's only two. Nice, nice shooting, fucking, and Well, at least she hit. Uh, the final skeleton will go after... One, the Kenku. Christina. Well, that's just typical. Roll, roll a disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage pays off 18 and a four. So nice. see, Chrisella, I'm useful for something. <laughs> as the robed skeleton attacks you, Shaden's shield pops up in front of you. Whoa, whoa. Now you're blind. Uh, Priscilla, you are up. <laughs> Priscilla, you're up. Oh, me? Uh, yes. Let's see. So it's still viable uh yeah for the most part had shade and hit it with any kind of intensity so roll one on the fucking 
So, she's, I mean, she's like a, a Mets or a Detroit Red Wings. How close is it to time. me? Uh, it tried to hit you, so okay. it's within melee range. So, 14, so I get 22 to hit. So I'm going to use my dagger. Okay. And... No sneak attack bonus because it targeted right. you last time. One, two, four, plus three. Oh, come on. There we go. Four. Halved, too, because it is a bladed weapon. Uh, Friar Thomas, uh, everybody's ganging up on this poor skeleton. Nobody's tried to talk to it. it you know, it could have been peaceful, but... Doesn't have a voice say, box to talk back. It could have magic mouth. Friar Thomas, what do you want to do? I think we're going to do our uh, sacred flame on the bad boy. Oh, nice. This one is a 17. Ah. All right. I so rolled an eight, so four. Right? Oh, uh, it have? Because no, it's, oh, it's a cantrip. I, I dodged it. No, uh, it's save or suck. Yep. Right. I, I used my oh, magical yeah, right. powers. There's Top no. of round four. No one you know. Uh, this one's persistent. You'll give it credit. <laughs> okay. Um, Kill it. No one's going to go ahead and blast it, thinking... Am I going to have to kill them all? And Apparently. You're ter- <laughs> you know what? Maybe oh, these guys missed. can be your uh, funeral bearers because they'll let you down every time. I got a nine. So he's like, am I going to have to kill them all? Psh, oh, darn. Shaden, you and I have tied. That Look means no matter what you do, I still get an attack. Well, fine. You know what? Roll yours first. Yours first. To be fair. And me, Ooh, right? Going after Friar Thomas this okay, time. Okay. It's a disadvantage. Makes sense in my mind to actually do it this way. Uh, 13 and a 2. The disadvantage pays off it's again, again. Fire Thomas. Right. She goes swinging that shield like she's Alice. Uh, hmm, 13? Uh, 13 is what you need to hit. Huh. Okay, cool. Roll another shitty damage roll, though, so we can keep going. Uh, not that time. That would be 8 for 4 points, so... I only rolled D8. I rolled, yeah, I only rolled D8s. Well, if you, really, if you really want to do it, I could throw a smite into it, and then I'll fucking just obliterate it. But that seems like overkill. Okay. Well, it's your choice, because it's still up. Is it still up? Ah. All right. Fuck it. I'm going to do it, just because this is getting way too annoying. I'll throw uh, what's smite here. That's smite the beauty of low-level adventurers. Smite is divine, uh, divine smite. It's going to be more than two d eight. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the, well the I don't know. Damage. Only two d eight. You can roll snake eyes. No, it's three. No, it's three d eight. Oh, you you will destroy it then. Yeah, it's three d eight because it's a it's undead. In answer to your question, no one you know, no, you are not going to shoulder the load for the entire thing. <laughs> uh, all three are destroyed. There yeah. are bits of bones uh, and tattered remnants of robe everywhere. You still have the dead body in the center of the room. <laughs> uh, what would you guys like to do? I'm searching for shit. I need shiny. Investigate. Yeah, the body. Because I want to see, was it an adventurer? How did it get here? Well, we got four bodies, so who wants what? Got I'll take skeletons. the greasy one. <laughs> okay. Ooh, sorry. Um, the greasy one is in the human? The, well, the newly dead one. Fair enough. Uh, everybody who searches the skeletons, that would be the other three, each yeah. wear a copper trident holy symbol around their former neck bones. Uh, about four or five gold, you're thinking, out of each one. Uh, Friar Thomas will be able to discern that uh, these are holy relics. I would not suggest wearing them, but if you want to wear them, go ahead. Uh, what god? Uh, you don't know. Religion it's check? Roar- you guys already had that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, Roar Tag, okay. but you guys don't know. Uh, Chris- Chrysilla, give me an investigation check. Are these things magical? These things are wearing? Just holy symbols. Okay, they're not magical ones. Okay. It's 
copper, man. Nobody Three, magics copper. 19. Oh. Uh, 19, actually being a rogue pays off. You find a leather coin purse that has 22 gold pieces in regional currency. Uh, and in its boot is a dagger and a 25 gold piece gem. Nice. Uh, because that's where rogues hide their shit. Uh, that is it for this room, except for the door in the far corner. I'll check out for traps. Okay. Investigation check. I got uh, 12. While he's doing that, I go around and I ask anybody if they want to trade the necklaces for one of my volute scrolls. Anybody? No. Anybody? No, I'll keep mine. No one? Fire Thomas? Five gold, five, five gold yeah, we'll do it. Okay, yeah, cool. There, you there, you get one. Hey, maybe something good. Friar Thomas, this one will be yours over here. Woo uh, uh, no one you know? Are you going to make a trade? Sure. Ha -ha, no, actually, I still have I, two. I kind of want to keep... Yeah, well, part of it, too, is I'm a paladin and kind of a religious figure, so the <laughs> the, the, the the holy symbol is interesting to me. And do adventurers know what these things are? Like, do we know that... I'll take an arcana check to see if you know. All right, arcana. These are uh, fairly well documented in this world. 14. You do. So basically, they're magical scrolls that do weird things. We know that. Yep. yep. Uh, no one, you have a lion on yours. Friar Thomas, you have an F on yours. Mm. Care to open yep. them, gentlemen? Sure. Oh, dumbass. I mean, <laughs> now? well played. Oh, no. The lion's going to eat me. <laughs> Here comes the dipshittery, as he said. Oh, no, I can't hear your, your mouth. mouth. <laughs> Great. I can't oh, cast Oh, my those. God. Your mouth disappears for 3d6 times 10 minutes you cannot speak what? or cast spells 3d6 times 10 minutes you know what i'll, I'll give you 3d6 times 10 rounds how about that, that makes Holy sense shit. <laughs> when i think about that that's like that's a long time 18 that's 90 you, that's you 90 wanted to open it <laughs> that'd be 90 mm. minutes on average i think that's smart to you want to buy another one <laughs> I got two left. Yeah, you improve your luck. Friar Thomas? Mm, I think we might just hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what did I? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No one you know. Give me an investigation so check great. for the door. Hey, you could do that without speaking. Sign language. Oh, God, he's going to not speak. I can't see it. Uh, yeah, the door I... looks fine. Nine. Sorry. I'll say out of character, though. Sure. The uh, door looks fine. I'll go open the door. Uh, there's another spiral staircase leading down about 10 feet. As Friar Thomas holds the torch over your head. All right. Um... Can't believe Carol doesn't want to balloon scroll. Coward. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some of the things are a little hard to pull off, too. Uh, I can't imagine trying to speak in rhyme for 10 minutes. No one's going to sneak down the stairs ahead of the group as stealthily as possible to try to, to investigate since you can't really cast spells. Sure. Um, hey, before you do that, I'm going to cast, uh, what is that, divination mm -hmm. uh, on whoever's going down first. Uh, no one are you are you gonna try and sneak down give me a perception check friar thomas as you try and pick out a willing target nine uh so is it gonna be chrysilla or shaden <laughs> yeah we'll do shaden fair enough uh what are you casting divination uh no one you know uh you creep down step by step inch a 16. by inch uh, and you see the bottom is a chamber is there anything magical in the room is it an uh, army chamber 
Yes, it is an army chamber. Uh, this angled room has flanking or flaking paint adorning the walls. While heavily damaged, it appears to be murals of a religious nature. Looking around the corner reveals another inset alcove with bones on it across from a large ceramic jar. Do you want to enter the room? Does he see anything magic? Like, is anything 30 feet away or less magical? Oh, uh, I think something in the urn. Yes, inside the urn, uh, a blue, oh shit, a blue light is glowing. <laughs> I love this adventure. He does say so himself. Okay, uh, he's just going to stand to the side, kind of get out of the way of the stairs and just kind of hang back and see if they follow. Dex saving throw as you uh -oh. step into the chamber. Um, 19. Yeah, nothing happens. Okay. Uh, Friar Thomas, as you look around for a willing victim for divination, uh, you cast it on Shaden, but then you notice... Where's the mute? Yeah, finally, we can talk in peace. <laughs> Come on, come on, let's go. There's probably shit down there I can loot. I'm gonna, I'll stay heading down. Okay, Shaden is going behind down. Her. Uh, I'll follow behind her. And then, my light. Priscilla bringing up the back end. Duh. Uh, let me guts by a rogue. Uh, what does divination do? Did you look it up or do I need to? It just does, uh, gives her a 1d4 uh, added to her, any of her rolls oh okay checks cool fair enough uh shaden as you get to the bottom of the stairs uh do you have dark vision i do uh you'll notice the figure of no one you know there still with the zipper mouth on him uh just standing there hanging out enjoying the view uh divine sense uh yes coming from an urn across the room you see another inset alcove with bones and a big ass ceramic urn hmm. I, I know Eeny, do i want to do i want to do i want to go touch that no one you know do you want to tell her that oh he can't. <laughs> he can try to sign language it, and I could try to figure it out with an insight check or something. Bunt. <laughs> he wants you to bunt. <laughs> now he's waving well, it off. He wants you to swing away. <laughs> well, I did make a good insight check, actually, uh, to figure out what to cipher what he's trying to say. Where the hell is insight? I got that. Some, there's 20. something with the urn. Yeah, I knew that. Actually, I have an ability. <laughs> I have a uh, awakened mind. I can mentally telepathy send her a message. Oh, nice. And, and tell her that. Uh, Mentally, that there's something magical in the some kind of blue magic glowing thing in the urn. Can I can I respond to it or? Mm -hmm. well, actually, I can just tell you because my mouth works fine. Uh, I'm like, yeah, it's I'm picking up undead off that thing. I'm wondering if I should just smash the, you know, just try to take and smash it. Small sparks from uh, the old torch keep falling upon you as Friar Thomas. This thing makes me so uneasy. <sighs> well, let's see, what would, what would Shaden do? <laughs> no one's uh, going to get his, uh, his uh, crossbow. I will. I'm going to take... Burn. Nice. You know what? I'm going to take and I'm going to try to smash the urn with and what's in it with my sword. 
As you step into the chamber, I will take a dexterity saving throw. Oh, goody. Well, that was a better roll. I changed dice. Oh, 18 on the die. Dexterity Sorry, save. Dex. So 18. Uh, bonus. You leap and charge forward towards the urn, your blade rising above your head, headed right for it. Friar Thomas, uh, you notice in the shadows from your torch that no one you know is just in and to the right, <laughs> in and to the right. And Shaden, uh, for no apparent reason, is charging into a room, uh, weapon held high. All right. We kind of lean down. I did sort of actually say out loud to 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 no one that there was undead. I was picking up undead in that uh, urn. May the Lord grant me the strength to smite my enemies, uh, Friar Thomas. Uh, Captain Courageous, they're just charged in to go after undead. All right, we'll uh... Captain Courageous. <laughs> we'll move in. Uh into that. Dex save. <laughs> I'm going to catch one of you with this it's, crap. It's Twitch, it's Twitch chat, you know. I've got just this oh. error call man telling me I need to smash it. I wrote a natural 20. <laughs> oh my goodness. You, you, leap into, you leap into the room as well uh, and head behind Shaden. Uh, Crisilla, everybody's in the room. Am I on the stairs? Yep. <laughs> Has uh, Shaden hit it yet? Uh, she's going to hit it momentarily. I do a wait. I do a Xena yell and leap over her head. <laughs> well, a as you get in the room, give me your deck save. <laughs> come on, Carrie, come on, Priscilla, do it. Ah. Uh, Uh, you too leap over the freaking trap in the floor. However, now you have to leap over Shaden's head. Give me a wisdom check first. Uh, uh, see, I got six. Sure. Yeah, that's great. No, okay, that's me, not good. Give me a dex check. <coughs> Outstanding. Uh, you do a leaping somersault, but then you discover that the ceiling is a little bit lower than it was before. Your wisdom failed, and you crash into it oh. and fall flat. Uh, a few feathers rise up. Damn it. Shaden, you swing your blade, smashing this urn, and ashes <laughs> poof oh. up like the Big Lebowski, and you are covered in dead cremains. Are they magical lashes? <laughs> no, however... What I said, where I sense they're dead is, in this. There is an ivory scroll tube. Uh, since the ashes have fallen out, uh, no one you know, you can see an ivory scroll tube. Everybody roll perception check as Crusella has mini Crusellas floating over her head. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, uh, 19. Oh, 19. 10. 16, 10. 9. 9. Uh, Friar Thomas, Shaden. Uh, as Shaden turns, as she's covered in white face now, uh, or dead gray face. I just don't uh, really look probably that much. I mean, she probably is kind of gray to begin with. I mean, she's a damn pair. She's kind of... Uh, Crusella, you uh, you are still trying to get the cobwebs out of your head from striking the ceiling. No one you know. Uh, the two giant fat asses are in front of you. You can't see around them. Uh, Friar Thomas and Shaden, you notice that the cremains are starting to swirl. Uh -uh. Anybody got holy water? Do I have holy water? Crusella, you look like Flash Gordon after he took one to the skull. Dong. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a flask of holy water since I Everybody have it. Everybody roll initiative, Damn then. It. Of course. 
I want to do it before it gets it pulls itself together. That's fifteen. All. Oh, come here, Steve. Six. Is Steve bouncing around. Here, Steve. Oh. Oh. Steve. Before he goes to bed. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. I I missed Fryer and no one. No one's a nine. Oh, you know what? I didn't add Dex for that. I wrote a 16, so 19. No, Mama, I'm on the uh, internet. Friar Thomas, you I'm on the internet. That, uh, <laughs> the dust is starting to form up into something bad. All right. And this house is not clean. <laughs> Do I sense this fucking thing? All right. Uh... You know what? I think I'm just gonna shoot a uh, sacred flame through the uh, through the ashes. See if that does anything or not. Uh, with a three, I fail my save again. <laughs> so five. Five damage to the creature. Uh, next up are the fifteens, the creature and Crusilla. Crusilla. After batting out the cobwebs of your head, I will let you go first. Uh, you see Friar Thomas shooting his sacred flame off uh, again, so something is wrong. Uh, I mean, a rapier is not going to do anything, right? I don't know. You haven't tried yet. All right. I'll give it a shot. Uh, Twenty-four to hit. Easily. Twelve is your magic number to strike this creature. Okay. One, eight plus three. Six. Nicely done. Uh, the creature will go after one Crucella. <laughs> uh, once again, uh, why have you? Uh, 12 just... plus 4, 16. Or... Disadvantage. You... Okay. Can I do it before I? I mean, yeah, I don't think there's ah, such a thing. 19. As... <laughs> yeah, Look. I got her. Uh, Crucella, uh, 16, get you? Oh, yeah. Uh, you are smashed across the room. Holy shit, these things put out a Thank lot. God I have bird bones. Ooh, uh, nine hit points. Dang. And she is flung across the room. Next up is the nine. No one you know. No one just gets his... Uh, he was already going to shoot the urn anyway, so he gets his crossbow up. Tries to shoot through whatever it is. It, he doesn't know if it's it'll work, but it might as well try it. Sure. Um, twenty-three. That hits. And he doesn't do a lot of damage with his gives a D eight. Light cars for one D eight plus two, so eight damage. Nicely done. Here's some. Uh, it appears to be, uh, from your view, a poltergeist. Uh, last but not least, Shaden. Mm, I guess I can... see that I could throw holy water at it. Uh, I think for now I'm going to just try to hit it. Sure. Uh, this is a much better die. 15 plus... 15 plus 3 is 18. Yep, that is. All right. Or four four points of damage. Close but no cigar. Uh, Friar Thomas, your associates have tried to assist, and one of them has been knocked backwards into the wall. Again, small feathers flying everywhere. Friar Thomas, you're up. All right, we're going to do our uh, sacred flame again. At 20, first one of the night, baby. It's about freaking time. Uh, you're a little bit askew on your aim. 
Uh, Chrisilla, pick yourself up, dust yourself off. It's time for you and I to tango. Yeah. I'll let you go first this time. You have been knocked out of melee range, so if you have a missile weapon, that's um, your best bet. I will use my crossbow. Or no, okay. short bow. Uh, six. That does not hit. Nope. Uh, no one you know. A crossbow bolt goes, or a short bow arrow goes, whizzing past your head. Mm. Three. Uh, no one you know. You see the whizzing figure of the poltergeist focus its intentions on you. Mm. Uh, and with a five plus four, I'm assuming a nine will miss. Nine misses. Uh, it is your turn. Or, yes, it is your turn. It's my turn again? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Father Thomas is gone, crusella has gone, 19, 15, 15, and then nine. You. Did I go out of turn earlier? Nope. Okay. I think you did. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. 19 with the crossbow. That hits. Um, seven damage. That is enough to knock the dust off everything. Shaden, give me a wisdom check. Wisdom check. That is cocked. Come on. Well, wow, that's not. Oh, well, that's better. I thought it was going to be a plus check. So that would be uh, 10. Uh, it appears to be vanquished, courtesy of. I, I mean, I could confirm this, but uh, if it doesn't seem to be attacking, then um, I will, we can move on. No one you know. Uh, we grabbed uh, the, You said there was a scroll, by the way, right? No one you know. Uh, there's a little gap in your lips now. You're starting to snap out of it. Uh, oh, there, Mark can talk on Mark now. Nah. And I was incorrect earlier. It is a copper scroll case. Okay, well, I wake up and say, look, I'm down half my hit points over that. Uh, <laughs> Lynn Bird, a little help. Do you have any ale? Uh, I do not on me, but uh, the next time we get somewhere, we you know what some. she does have. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. I offer to spot you your next uh drink. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe we should have you open up one of those little uh scrolls. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um. All right, I will cast. Cure wounds on you. Oh, not too bad. Seven plus three. No, oh, so, very good. Not bad at all. That's very nice. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. I'll buy your next drink. <laughs> no one and Shaden. Which one of you is grabbing the copper scroll case? Uh, since I'm like right there, I'll grab it. No Take one. You look. want to try and grab it? Oh. Yeah, I'll let her pick it up. I'll pick it, up. I mean, it, it is a copper scroll case. There's something inside. I'll open it. Uh, it, it is a scroll. Yeah, Poltergeist number two. <laughs> it's an Efreet. <laughs> uh, it is a scroll. Give me an intelligence check. Oh, nice. Uh, 17 plus 10. 17 plus 0 is 17. The title of this scroll is Prayer of Healing. <clears throat> Prayer of Healing. Roll it up. <coughs> you know, I'm going to give it to Friar Thomas. This is probably a good for you to use. It's a prayer of healing. Friar oh, Thomas, but... give me an intelligence check, please. I think that's him, right? 17. You can read it. Oh, nice. I appreciate that. Here, let me give you a small token of my appreciation as I give her that my. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> he gives me that. Shaden has 
a Volute scroll. <laughs> Chrysella still has two. Uh, a look around also finds a golden holy symbol on the skeleton in the alcove that hasn't moved an inch. Can I go loot that? I'll take D20 from everybody. Hyrule gets to it first. Well, shit. Yep. Five. <laughs> Two. A 14. I got a nine. Wow. Oh. Not not bad, Crusoe, but Shaden beat you to it. Uh, it's a golden holy symbol. It is worth about 10 gold pieces. Same holy symbol? Same holy symbol as a trident. I've got a scroll. Would you like to trade for that? No, I'm kind of interested in the... I already have a scroll now, so I'm all good. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's just... They're kind of interesting to me. I'm... You want to open it? You want to open it? You no. Open it? Not right now. I may uh, open it for funsies. A look around uh, reveals no point of exit. At all? We got to go back where we see. came? Mm. Hey, can I... I'm going to investigate the walls. Looking for, for exits. Here, I'm going to cast a uh, divination on him. So you get a D4 to your roll. Go ahead and give me an investigate roll, no one. Just with the D4 at it, all right. Oh, I think I could start to talk now. Uh, Where's Heracol when we need him? True. 14. He can translate. He's in, he's in chat, apparently. Uh, 14 is good enough. Part of this wall is not a wall. It is cold, not to really the, all. cold to the touch, and it appears to be flexible. Saran wrap? Yeah, pretty much. It's a rubber wall. Will it cut? I'm going to try to bounce off it like a wrestler. Uh, as you do, uh, D12 against me. Oh. Okay. 11. Uh, I got a 1. Uh, you go crashing through it and assholes and elbows down the spiral staircase. You will go ahead and take uh, four hit points of damage as you come to a rest halfway down the stairs. Uh, the false wall, aka secret door, is now open. A cold draft of air and a sound of rushing water can be heard. No one you know cannot be seen. Is it fresh air? Uh, yeah, as fresh as you can find in a tomb. I mean, so, I think it. I think Adventure Sense has something like this, but it's not putrid sewer. Not putrid. <laughs> no, 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 no. Basically, it's not coming. The air is not coming from outdoors. It's coming so, from. I'll yeah. look around to see if I see anything about. Down here, magical or, or angry, you might want to eat me. As you get to the bottom of the stairs, strangely enough, there is a boat in here in this room. Yeah. Who wants to go down the stairs uh, following no one? Me. Okay. Shaden, uh, you quickly find that he has uh, brushed himself off, dusted himself up, and he's looking into a room. Uh, no one you know, and Shaden, since you two can see in the dark, you see a dim outline of what appears to be a boat, you think? Maybe a funerary raft? Uh, you don't know of any Vikings in this area, but that's kind of what it looks like. Uh, Father, or Friar Thomas and Priscilla, who's going down next? I'll go. I'll go down next. Oh, Drusilla goes down. Uh, Friar, you silhouette all of them as you bring up the rear. Uh, it's no one, Shaden, Priscilla, Friar. Uh, no one, you're kind of blocking away. What do you want to do? I'm kind of still standing on the stairway. Yep. Uh, and I don't see anything in the boat, either alive or that looks magical. As uh, Friar Thomas extends his torch, nearly burning Crusella's uh, feathers off, uh, <laughs> a curving staircase leads you to a rectangular room covered in glass mosaic murals. 
uh, as the light shines off it. The images depict a religious theme of sailing off to meet a deity-esque figure across the water. Sail uh, away. With the limited information sail you have Come on sail the away faith, with me. you assume it means something. The deity is Christopher Cross. Uh, the murals <laughs> are not the main focus, as there is a rather long but narrow boat occupying a large portion of this room. Rushing the water can be heard down a hallway on the far side of the chamber. I'm going to look on the floor for any traps as I move toward the boat. Investigation? I'm going to cast I'd my... crit. Nat 20 oh. for Ooh. investigation. Oh, yeah. There's a trap here. <sighs> okay, I point it out. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a trap. There's a trap. There's a trap here. Uh, you leap across, which you think is the trap. Uh, do you want to set it off or just point it off and go? Well, I don't have any trap disabling skills, so I'm going to just point it out and try to get around it. You can throw shade in on it. I could have been. That, that will trigger it. Because you know what it does? Right. Is it obvious? Is it like a button or something? Or yeah, there's pressure? small small holes in the cobblestone. It looks like spikes are going to come up. Oh, oh suck. I was like... <laughs> Is she very skinny? That might work okay. Yeah. It's a weight loss trap. Mm. Well, it I ble wonder... If, bleeds you out. Well, I wonder if I could, like, you know... I mean, I'm wondering how far those spikes come up. I take something, you know, like my sword and, you know, jab it down onto the, the pressure plate or wherever you would step. And I'd let, I'm thinking I'd like to set it off so I could avoid it. D20. What is it? To, just a D20? Yep. Jesus Christ, two. Yeet! <laughs> oh. As you take your sword, hit the pressure plate, uh, the spike just barely nicks you. Four. Two hit points of damage. So is it like four inches tall or something? Uh, no, her long sword is uh, four and a half feet. No, I know, but how long is the spike that came up? Clearly about, about four, four and, and a half, half feet. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. About, about four feet, seven inches. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Boink. Uh, and then it retracts. Ah, oh, son of a fish. But you can tell where the outline of it is. And yeah. no one you know has already leaped across it safely. All right. So we can just avoid it then. <laughs> okay. So... So I will I will go oh. around it. Oh my god, puppy! <laughs> um. So yeah, I Worldwide will cold. avoid it and go around to join no one. Okay. Uh, Friar Thomas and Crusella, I assume you will also deftly avoid this trap? Of course. Uh, you guys all leap across safely. You are in this rectangular room with the Christopher Cross deity. For our younger viewers, you're just going to have to Google that shit. Uh, <laughs> and there's this strange boat uh, here. The sound of rushing water is down a hallway to the high left. So can somebody see if there's any traps or magic in the boat? Well, I, I, I do have the detect magic thing still going. And I'll uh, look at that and of course look at the boat, see if there's any markings or any other interesting thing on it. It would appear to be uh, just kind of like a long boat, maybe a funerary boat. Uh, a plank down the center rib might be used to hold a body. Is there a like an underneath part, or is it just all open? No, it's it's sitting on uh, a wedge, so it's oh. about six and a half feet long. Um, so it's not down in the water. No, there's no water in this room. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The water you hear is down a hallway on the left. But I mean, it's a very, like, shallow type of boat. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hop in. What a dumbass. <laughs> I'm 18. I'm 18. Yeah. What am I going to do? 
That's true. Uh, you get in the boat, uh, assume the George Washington pose, yell out, stroke, stroke, stroke. Friar Thomas, uh, no one you know, and Shaden, what do you want to do with a teenager? Are we going to get in the boat with her, or are we going to go find something else to play with? Can, will the boat go anywhere? Because no, you the water... Get, it, you get, if you want to take it somewhere, it ain't going up the curved staircase, that's for damn sure. Well, no, I mean, but... If you want to look down the hallway... No, I'm kind of amused watching her uh, play in the boat. Yeah, because I search. Is there anything here? There is absolutely nothing inside this boat. Damn it. I'll just, go down the hallway stealthily this time. Is this, this like is, the river Styx? Um, I want to be Carol gonna, the boat keeper. I'm going to do uh, deviation. Give me pennies. Okay. Uh, with deviation, uh, no one you know, give me an investigation check. Ooh. Uh, 24. You carefully make your way down this stone hallway, and the sounds of water lead down the, to it, uh, where it is cut in half. It is bisected. Uh, from inside the cliffs, an underground river flows and must be the source of one of the waterfalls outside on the cliffs that you guys didn't experience. The gap is wide, and uh, jumping it doesn't look like it's going to be a good choice. Can you go under the waterfall? You cannot. No. It cuts right across. Uh, the stones are slick on either side. It looks like the river cut through the crypt area at some point in time. So if you try and run, you're going to hit a slick spot. And uh, much like Johnny Bench or Pete Rose, you're going to slide. Hmm. I guess I go back and... If I can talk now, I will tell them that. Otherwise, I'll use you can talk now. I'll say, uh, it's a river. There's a river down there. It's blocking the way. I say, let's take the boat and go. Let's take the boat and go. It's, it's no way to go. It just goes across the hallway. There has to be a way. Why else would there be a boat here? No one you know. Uh, there, The hallway extends past the river. Could we use the boat to go underneath the waterfall? Like if we got under the boat and then just kind of walk through it? Well, it, the waterfall would be outside of the tomb. So this is a river cutting through. Oh. So it's sitting on top of it. Gotcha. Give, so give me an could... intelligence check. All right. Actually, do okay with that. 16. Yeah, it, this, this hallway is wide enough for the boat. Okay, well, then we'll do that. I'll go back and tell them we need to, we need to get the boat. Okay. You want to get Captain Kidd out of the boat? Yeah. I am Kara on the boat keeper. You must give me copper. Otherwise, I will not let you in my boat. And we're going to stand here, so... Get out of the boat. Copper. I don't have copper. You already took my copper. Fine. Get in the boat. We can't get in it yet. We need to call it down the hall. Thank you. <laughs> Fine. I'll get out of the boat. How do you want to move the boat down the hallway? I mean, I'm not very strong, but I'll help. I mean, am I strong? I'm not super strong. I've got a, I got a plus one to my strength. I am before. super puny. I have a negative one. Do you want to have two on one end pulling and two on one end pushing, or how do you want to do this? You can do that. So, how? I mean, how heavy is the boat? I would think we could just. Have two on each side and then just pick up. The problem is that the boat is just barely going to fit down the hallway due to uh, width. Yeah, so, all right, so we, yeah, we got to stretch out. Uh, I'll be at the front. I'll take the back because I don't want to get dead, dead, but whatever it's going to eat us. Sure. Anybody else want to help her in the front? Yeah. I'll help her in the front. No, oh, okay. okay. Uh, oh, no. leaving Crusilla the Mighty with minus one to her strength in the back pushing. Hey, I can push 240 pounds. Uh, Crusilla and no one give me strength rolls. Hey, hey, I roll good. 19. Good. Um, strength. 
Um, that was with the sorry, plus zero. Eight. <laughs> minus one. Yes, that was with the minus one. <laughs> uh, well, fortunately, no one has really pushed it down. Friar Thomas, Shaden, give me wisdom checks. Wisdom? Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, 18. Ooh, 21. Uh, both of you realize that no one you know is really freaking strong, and he is sending the boat right down the hallway. You guys barely have to lift a finger, but the deeper you go into the hallway, the more you realize, holy shit, he's going to push us into this freaking river. <laughs> Isn't that what we want? Probably not. You probably want to bridge nope. the river gap. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Slow it down a little. No one, uh, they're bitching. Do you want to just keep pushing ahead? <laughs> uh, I don't want to shove them off too easily. I'm going, come on, hop in, let's go. And I'll, I'll push them in. If they hop in, hopefully they make a dex check to jump in the boat. He yells for you to jump in the boat. He's not slowing down, man. He's he's on the roll. I'm not exactly lightweight, though. Well, Metal armor. You, you can be a speed bump. I mean, yeah. I, if I don't make a de dex to jump in the boat, I don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three. It's a three. <laughs> okay. Oops. Friar, Friar Thomas. I'm wearing yeah. heavy armor. I mean, I don't even have. I, really have to hop I did good. I got a 22. Friar Thomas jumps in the boat. Shaden falls flat. <laughs> and actually forms a ramp for the boat. Big problem is, is the ramp correct? No one, D12 against me. <laughs> 11. Or uh, you actually ramp the boat and bridge the gap, even with Friar Th Thomas inside of it. Unfortunately, Shaden is now at your feet uh, <laughs> so you're going to have to push just a little bit more to get it off of her. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and push it off. I don't want to suffer. Shaden, you take two hit points of friction damage as the damn funerary boat rolls over your face. Ow. Right on your right. nose. That's, that's where it is. It's right here. All right, let's see. I think it's time to lay... Oh, I forgot that... Got the mm, that might be better to use. You got a scroll. I got the healing thing. What is no, the healing you potion? gave it to Friar Thomas. Oh, that's right. Oh, you you have the no, unknown I magic have... potion. That's I've, true. Oh no, shit! It's an unknown magic potion. Yeah, unknown magic potion and the scroll. I uh, know Friar Thomas gave it to me. Uh No, Friar Thomas gave you gave the copper tube to Friar Thomas. Yeah, but then he gave me the volute scroll that he had. That's true. Who else uh, took damage already? Uh, well, I've only had a little bit. Yeah. Um, like, I'm going to open could, one. I could do a channel divinity. Uh, you know what? I was told I have been commanded by Justice Eric Hall, man. Don't can't do channel one. divinity to the so that's like half the hit points. Yeah, oh, open it. Truth. Oh, fine, open it. If it's some something like rhyming, don't expect much. I'm not. Hey, thank you, that. DM Pooba. I appreciate. Yeah, that. because we know she can't tell a joke. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I can't you gotta remember. talk like Foghorn Leghorn the rest <laughs> I... of the night. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, I say, I say, boy. <laughs> That's totally. Oh, well, that's not the worst thing ever. I say, would you get this goddamn boat off me, boy? <laughs> I don't think he would curse. We'll, 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 we'll try it, okay? I'm not real he, he, good he'd at curse on her word. elbow. Mm. I say, I say, get this freaking boat off of me! Boy. <laughs> boy. What I am not going to get chicken this? name? Chicken Hawk? Oh, chicken yeah, hawk. Chicken Hawk. Yeah. Can I push? Can I push the boat? Sure, you, you, can, you can push it off. Let's see if I can find some fog. Her later. scroll flies into the river and is never seen from again. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, however, you have bridged the gap. Friar Thomas, 
you can leap out easily and find yourself in the other one. Uh, there is some slight buffeting from the water, but since it's wedged, that thing ain't going anywhere. So are we just going across the boat? Yeah, we're using like the boat bridge? as a bridge. Okay. Yeah. I say, I say, Raven-esque chick. <laughs> well, damn it. We don't get to use the boat for anything other than a bridge. Not currently. You swim under the bridge, under the boat. You you can notice that Dudu is skillful wedging. Uh, this gap where the river is, if you tip the boat back a little bit and maybe kind of angle it, you might be able to go whitewater rafting in your kayak. I say kayak, boy. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, you go over the waterfall. You go over the waterfall. Come on, you silly. I thought you said we couldn't take the boat over that. You, you can, probably don't want. Yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna, gonna have die. to fiddle with it. Let's you, do it. Well, I, I mean, say, yeah, I say, I say, let's let's do this, boy. Let's do whatever. We need to progress. Well, yeah, but the waterfall is like 20, 30 feet, right? Mm -hmm. Or I've got bird like, bones. I'll be fine. I'm thinking there's we still don't... still part of the dungeon ahead of you too. Yeah, we need to yeah, go yeah, across yeah, first. To let's do that on the way out. When do that on the way out? Yeah, Bye. that might be uh, fun. I say, I say that is a good idea, boy. <laughs> All right. That's so, uh, Shaden, how many hit points are you down out of character? Me, 10. I mean, I could lay on Okay, I'm going to fix that. I'll do cure wounds on you. Okay, cool. I'll say that feels pretty good, boy. I got the magic hands. I say, hand. boy, I say, you got a nice touch, boy. You got magic <laughs> hands, Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> so I rolled. Six and then plus three, so that's nine. Fine. That's good. You just have a little bit of road rash on your nose from the boat running you over. Ah, Don't you have better healing since you're a dumpier? No, I've got. Do I have what? Uh, nothing. I know uh, what you're saying. No, uh, who's leading this uh, parade? I don't think it. I don't think. I don't think it's a. I'll see. stealth down the corridor again. Since no one else wants to leave. Uh, it oh, hey, I'll do the deviation on him. Uh, it appears or you enter a carved chamber, which is unlike any of the other rooms you've encountered. It appears to have been carved out by expert masons and has a pillar denoting the accomplishments of Holy Father Taurus uh, carved in common. The name means nothing to you, and a slithering noise can be heard from around the corner. Snake. Mm. I hate snakes. See, so everybody cool. roll initiative. No, oh, come boy. on. Seventeen. Why am I using these terrible dice? Seven. That's Seventeen. Seventeen. Wow, three times. Wow, really? Yeah, great. I got a five. <laughs> Uh, no one and Priscilla. I'll let you guys go first, and then I will go at the same time. It is a giant snake. Snake. I want to move away from the giant snake and go back down the corner. How far <laughs> away is it? Uh, it's in range. Okay, so I sneak attack on it okay. with my rapier. Let, let's see if you sneak attack. Yeah, let's see. Yes, you will sneak attack. <laughs> I guess you got a really shitty roll. No, it's going to go after no one. Okay. So I got a uh, 16. Sure, that is. Okay. And 28 plus 3. So 7 for the hit and then sneak attack 5. 12 hit points. Uh, no one as you turn tail. Uh, the snake. None of that. Get away, Satan. Ah, shit. 5 plus 6. 11 doesn't hit you, right? 
Not it, quite. Uh, it snaps out at you. Uh, like Steve. That's right, like Steve the pirate dog. Friar Thomas, uh, still holding the torch, which is dimming ever so quickly. Uh, you see that uh, Chrysilla has stabbed a giant snake that has snapped at no one you know who is in full-blown retreat. Uh, how far am I away from the snake? Uh, as no one is leading it towards you and Shaden, <laughs> uh, it's in melee range. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> I say, boy, I say, that thing's coming right for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to uh... Do a little bit of backtracking, and I think we'll uh, we'll shoot our sacred flame at him. Sure. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, yeah, that makes it. Swing and a miss, uh, Harry Potter. Uh, Shaden, I say, I say, girl, it's your turn. Can't think of I gonna run this foot there. All right, I will run up to that. Oh, uh, to, to give you some kind of semblance, uh, you hear, ah, ah, and two of, you, two of your associates are running towards you. This big honking <laughs> snake is coming after you. I will go charge up to that snake. I say, I say you're nothing more than a future uh, future purse for me, and I'm going to try to hit it. That's it. That good because your vicious mockery sucks. It's not my vicious. I don't have vicious mockery. That's terrible rule. That's that's only an eight. Uh, nope. Uh, but I'm here you, to protect the others. You thump it in the nose. Round two starts off with no one, Chrysilla, and the snake. It's a melee right now, right? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's nipping at your ass. I'll just stab it. Okay. We're at the Alamo, boys and girls. This is our last wow. stand. 16. That is? It's a dagger with a D4 plus two. Oh, brought out the big guns. Yeah, <laughs> five. Yeah, that's something. Not that's, that's not it. Nothing. It's close to nothing, but it's not. Uh, Chrysilla, you are behind it. You will get a sneak attack. Uh, so how much do I need to hit it? 12 is your magic number to hit this thing. Okay, yes, I hit it. I don't even need um, that much. <laughs> I say, don't six, carve up her purse. So six for, the, <laughs> six for the damage or whatever, and then two for the sneak attack. Eight. Fair enough. Eh, it's not looking so hot. <laughs> it is going to go after uh, Shaden. Oh, and then I can't give it disadvantage. Uh, nine plus six is 15. That misses. Good thing, too, because this thing does a shit ton of damage for second levels. Uh, brings us to seven. Uh, Friar Thomas, uh, no one, your associate, uh, has opted to uh, valiantly protect. Do you want to keep running and say, fuck these guys, I know the way out? <laughs> We're going to move back some. Uh we're going to put the uh, torch in the ground and pull out our trusty crossbow and we're going to do a clockwork bolt. We're going to enchant our bolt and we are going to shoot it at the snake. Where are my ones, man? Let me roll one. Oh, the 16 plus. Fuck you. Hurry. That so easily hits. hits as its maw opens up to bite <laughs> right into the soft. And then that's five plus three, eight piercing. Very nice. Uh, Shaden, uh, your friends are valiantly trying to save your life. So I say, I say, boy, uh, Colonel Shaden, uh, you need to do something. I, I say, I say, I'm going to take the sword and try to put it through its, through its head. Oh, that is cocked, damn it. Cause that was a good roll. Oh, that's not a great roll. That's only a nine. Fuck. No, off, those. off its snout. Yeah. Round three. Ah. No one. Chrysilla and the snake. Um, so at the end of this round, I think the snake with that crossword bolt gets 1d8. Okay, go ahead. If he doesn't take it out. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have hands. <laughs> 
Plus, it's stuck in his mouth. He's got a. That means he can't bite. He's got a craw. He got a craw. I say. A one hit point. Okay, Crisola and no one. Oh, He's like, get away from me! He slashes around with a dagger. Okay, I didn't hit it. <laughs> Go ahead, no one. Let's see if the dagger hits. He, he missed. He's, just, he's like, oh my god, yeah, they are all okay? are terrible, man. Oh, you can't hear me? No, yeah. we can. Okay. But uh, your mouth is still numb from... Mm-hmm. I, I'm sorry, Shaden. They're horrible. Did you hit it last time? No, you did not. I said all of our dice are horrible right oh, now. Oh, okay. So. Ah, this time it's going after Friar Thomas. Uh, I'm going to put give it disadvantage. 18 and 3. Yes! Ooh. I told Ooh. you I'm good. I said, say I'm good for something. Uh, That's right, boy. Friar Thomas, just as it's fangs and that crossbow bolt reaches out to get you. <laughs> Oh, Clang! It hits the shield, uh, and it withdraws, and the shield pulls back. What do you want to do with this thing? All right, we're gonna uh, back up a little bit and shoot another crossbow bolt through the clockwork bolt again. Can it? Fifteen plus three, yes. and then I keep losing my five plus three, eight. Very nice. Ah, uh, uh, Shaden. All right, come on. I say I How need long to does get that this. Last? Oh, the you rest s- of the day. You said it was the rest of the night, so. All right, uh, 13. That hits. Hmm. I have one more spell slot. It's not. Eh, maybe I'll do it. Let's see. Because uh, this thing apparently really hurts if it actually bites you. So it's not undead or anything like that. So it's just going to be a 2d8. Where's my other? D8 plus 8. Yep, 1d8 plus 1. Where's my d8? Right. Uh, it could have been better. Uh, two, four, eleven, and one. That's twelve points of damage. Uh, that is enough to sunder the creature as you put your blade through its skull and it dies. Hit snakes. Hate them. Boots. I want boots. Or a wallet. Maybe a purse. I say, I don't know. let's get this a- shit. He'll make a lovely purse, I'd say. You know? Who wants to use animal handling to try and carve it up correctly? Uh, not me. I could try. Yeah. If somebody might be better at it than me, though. Ooh, I do have a three. Uh, I've got a two. Just because of my dex. Just because of my dex. I don't care who does it. It's dex. It's wisdom. Animal yeah, handling wisdom. is wisdom. Animal oh, handling. oh, I'm sorry. I have wisdom. Of three. That's yeah, that's everything. right. I was gonna say you, you. That, that's right. You should have a wisdom of three. This one better than me. I'll tell you what. I will assist you for there advantage. You go. go ahead, Friar Thomas. Carve this thing up. Snake's good eating. <laughs> Seven. Oh, yeah. I get to roll again. Yeah, you get to roll again. Advantage. I'm giving Ooh. you advantage. I rolled a 15 plus 3, so 18 on that one. Yeah, uh, yeah he manages to uh, cut it nicely. Uh, you guys can... Ooh, uh, I say you're doing a beautiful job there. Tastes yeah, like cut chicken. Right there. <laughs> you can do four things. So you can have a purse, you can have a pair of boots, and you can have, I don't know, a belt. I definitely want enough for a purse. That's only three things. A pair of boots is two. Oh. Bad. Yeah, he's counting each boot as one That's thing. That's silly. That is. <coughs> uh, no one, before you fled, like the brave man that you are, uh, you did notice a circular staircase going up in the far room. There was a, a staircase on 
that snake had wrapped around and I didn't want to try to go up it with us. I was coming it. back to tell you guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I say that this, the way is clear now, so why don't we just head on up? You can talk like Blanche Devereaux if you want. Boom, boom. <laughs> no, no. No, this is this is this is good. I declare. So, I declare. I do, well, then you need to make that a different scroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done with those scrolls. There's 56 of them. Screw it. Uh, okay, who wants to lead up the stairway? <laughs> Do you want me to lead? Or say, do you want me to lead, or do, would you like to lead? No one. I can sneak up there. Then right. you can lead. I'll do the stealth thing again. Said I'll no do one the, ever. <laughs> I'll do the uh, deviation or divination, whatever you say that. Got a fifteen stealth check. Oh yeah, you're you're oh. like butter. You are so silent. Uh, you get to the top, and it is a square room with a stone. Stone look- sarcophagus in the middle of the room. Oh, goody. Is there anything magical or alive in the room that I can notice? I don't know. Would magic permeate the stone sarcophagus? D12 Man. against me. Okay. Nine. I got a 12. Uh, Big purple 12. Yeah, there's a uh, blue escaping from the... Uh, lid hmm. we should have taken that snake and wrapped it around this esophagus I go down back down and I tell them come on I go there's a, there's a magical coffin up there a big one made out of stone dun, dun, dun. fine I'll go up <clears throat> I'll uh, hit to, I'm going to hit divine sense when I get up there okay uh, no, nope, Divine Sense doesn't uh, perceive anything. Okay. However, since you're the first one up, Dex check. Uh, oh, 18 plus... I don't have a deck, so it's 18. Uh, your long stride carries you into this room. There, uh, the carvings and etchings on this stone sarcophagus appears to make it look religious in nature and heroic in nature. Who's second up the stairs? <laughs> I wouldn't even know there was a trap or anything there, right? Correct. None just, of you will know. I just got uh, shit lucky. I'll go up second. Deep oh, one, or dex, dex save? Ooh, 20. Who's third? I guess I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are not doing traps. We got 18. Might as well go last. <laughs> <laughs> got a 15 deck save. Yeah, everybody's in this room. Frank looks kind of disappointed, I think, there. I open up Carefully. a scroll. You what? I open up a scroll. Oh, nice. <laughs> Left hand or right hand? I'm not picking. I do, You're the DM. I, I do declare this might be a bad idea. It might be. Sister. I say, I say. I say, I say. <laughs> no, what's he doing? You are afflicted with shaky hands. <laughs> Jazz hands. Me? Uh, <laughs> Attacks, yes. Attacks are at disadvantage, and any oh. spells with Samonic uh, auto fail last so one we, to four hours. So we, Jesus oh. Christ! Oh. Wow. You have Parkinson's now. Sorry, Michael J. Fox, but that's I'm rocking it out. That's right, you're rocking out. Uh, so Sweet. you all see Chrysilla read the scroll, and oh, she's scared. I, I do, I do declare. I can't fly. Call. Those scrolls are shit. Yeah, but sure. I mean, we've got one more, right? Surely that one's good. <laughs> that's be good. Open it. Cook. Come on, Fire I mean, uh, Thomas. Thomas. Open it up. I say, say you should open that last scroll. We've all done it. Time for you to do it too. 
I don't think we've all done it, have we? Yeah. Oh, we have. yeah. Y'all, three of us, the other three of us have done it. Take your hands, mute, and I do declare. I do declare. No, well, it's, I say, I say. I'm, I'm... All right, I guess I'll open it. Yeah. Peer pressure. Yay. <laughs> You should never listen to the kids. It'll be awesome. Hopefully. No, you should. <laughs> oh, God. They were all shit scrolls. You... I... I don't know what that is. Is that a bunny? A carnivorous rabbit appears for one hour and can attack opponents doing 1d4 damage. <gasps> it cannot be struck or injured. Yes! Oh, Thomas. my God. That's actually you have a good a one. Pet rabbit. Is it white? Is it a vicious color, Carol? creature? <laughs> uh, it it, it oh, can come attack. On. Is it that rabbit from that movie? It could it be. It is that rabbit from that, that movie. movie. I'm so glad that somebody didn't get Elmer Fudd for the voice. Uh, there is a Daffy Duck one in there. So so, uh, so now you guys are in this room with uh, a rabbit. With, with a cute bunny. Mm. A cute bunny. <laughs> Maybe we should open this uh, uh or thing, whatever they call him. Uh, I don't know that she can help much. <laughs> I, I agree. I agree. But I can't help. Everybody rolls strength check. Who is oh, going no. to try and push? It no, is we're a not heavy lead. Six. Seven. Strength check, huh? Uh, 11. 19. Yeah, plus one. Wow. wow. You, you, you don't get to help shaky hands. Shaky. Yeah. I'm shaking. That doesn't mean I can't. Well, you got to roll a disadvantage. That's fair. Fifteen. Uh, huh? She beaks her way up and uh, it starts. <laughs> Move, but three of you have failed, so you're gonna all have to try again. Oh God, we're gonna be. Does here. anything happen when we touch it? I'd say we're probably gonna or... be here for a while. Well, that was twelve. Twelve. Uh, that time I got a nineteen. Cool. I got a one. Oh, Jesus <sighs> Christ! Uh, Friar Thomas has put his fingers where he shouldn't have, and as you guys roll the heavy granite lid across him, oh. he howls in pain. Uh, you take three hit points of damage. Do you want the rabbit to attack any one of your colleagues who have just <laughs> injured you? <laughs> I. Do we do we get it moved by the way? Because you get it moved enough to reach in there, but of course, Father Thomas is y'all move it back, move it back, move it back, move it back, move it back. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna lay on hands on him for three points that we just did. Okay, okay, new round. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. <laughs> just slip it. You're just only healing it. the damage. He's still pinned underneath. <laughs> Take hey. three more hit points. <laughs> hey, hey, I had, a whole boat, I had a whole boat on my face. I mean, come on. That's true. I say you should be able to tough it out. I was able to tough that I out. I say, boy, <laughs> strap up. Uh, Priscilla, <laughs> Priscilla, no one, and Shaden, give me another strength roll. Let's see if you can save Friar Thomas so that he can pick his nose later. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, God, I got a two. I roll better than her, man. Five. Friar Thomas, take three more hit points. Shit. <laughs> I am so sorry. Hey, uh, everybody else can see that there is a jeweled robe in there. Hmm. Can we at least get this freaking thing off of him? Just grab the robe and then let go of the thing so we can just get out of here. <laughs> no, we need to get it Friar off. Thomas, Thomas died of blood loss to his fingers. <laughs> no, we, we're like... No, but I mean, like, they're being crushed, so he wouldn't bleed out. Um, we'll have to lift it together, I guess. There, there's Oops. also an axe in there. We're going to try to lift mm. it to get it off of him. Everybody right. strength check it. Fine. Oh, that was... That is a 19 and a die 15. for 20. Nine. Uh, Friar Thomas, they have released. No! Uh, however, 
you can't use your hands very well. You are also at disadvantage. Lay on hands to heal fix that. So I give him another three. Nice. <laughs> uh, I want to loot that too, man. Uh, everybody roll a d20. Basically, I say, I say, say that was no good at all. And here, have 14. You need to fix that. What was this roll again? Straight up d20. Ooh, I actually rolled a 20. Oh, damn it. 17. He's quick with those broken fingers. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, no. Friar, do you broken. want to go for the robe or the axe? I think we're going to go for the robe. Uh, Shaden, you get the axe. Okay. Uh, the robe is gem encrusted. It's called a mu- muasi. I don't know where I pulled that word from, but it's a loincloth. And it is worth uh, 400 gold pieces. It's a loincloth or a robe? <laughs> it's a loincloth, but we'll call it a robe tonight. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you uh, have a plus one axe. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I do. That appears to be the end of it. But as you pick up the robe and the axe, the cave begins to shake violently. Is there any exits? Just the one you came in is all the ones that you see. Let's go. Who's charging down the stairs first? Uh, go okay. ahead. No no one. Uh, roll me that deck save. <laughs> Uh-oh. Four. That's going to be bad. You are... No. Five hit points of damage, and you tumble down the stairs... Assholes and elbows again. Ow. Those uh, stairs are bad. Who is second? Uh, me. Perception check to see if you noticed what just happened. Um, sec. Perception two twelve. Uh, you did. Uh, make your dex check so that you don't go assholes and elbows. That was not great. Seven. Uh, you hit the wall, uh, take one hit point of damage, but you leap over the uh, trap. Who is third? I'll go. Friar Thomas, perception check to see if you notice no one getting skewered. Uh, nine. Uh, <laughs> you did not notice, so dex check or you get skewered. <laughs> uh, Twelve. You walk down the stairs behind Shaden. Uh, Crusilla, perception check. Mm. Is that time of the night where I can't see a plus? Plus two. Plus two, so I get a 14. Uh, Yeah, you saw it. Now make your dex check. Uh, to make sure you don't crack your skull again. 18. Oh, yeah. You uh, leap over. Uh, the uh, room itself is starting to crumble. Dust is starting to choke the stairwell. Uh, no one. You got holes. You look like a cheese grater right now. <laughs> you, r- you rush down the stairs. There is the giant snake corpse in the hallway. Uh, in this room as well, dust is falling, even despite the fine craftsmanship. It looks like this whole complex is starting to cave in. Oh, boy. No, no. Uh, do you want to run across into the original room of the ship, or do you want to try and dislodge the ship and take it over the falls, a.k.a. Indiana Jones? It. What do you all want to do? Want to go in the boat? Indiana Jones. The boat. Sure. To the boat. I'm sorry, Shaden. What would you say? Just nothing wrong with sure. I don't know if the boy. I, I, I say, I say, boy. I say, fine. I say, no, I say, I say sister. That, uh, that taking the boat to be a grand idea. Who is the engineer in the group that wants to roll the wisdom save or wisdom check? Probably not Friar me. Thomas. The cleric. <laughs> Friar Thomas, roll me a wisdom check. All right. Do me some good. Hey, can I do uh, deviation on myself? Sure, you can touch yourself. <laughs> you can touch yourself all night long. Alrighty. 
Every time I think of you, I, that's my oh sweet Jesus twenty. Uh, yeah. Nice. Father Thomas uh, is volunteered for this job. He takes one look at it and he turns around and he goes, okay, so simply put, we need to make sure that the hypotenuse of the angle is congruent to the opening in this thing. All right. It's quite, it's quite simple, Matt. Okay. <laughs> so he says, you got to move it this way and then you got to move it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody give me a strength roll. Make sure you don't botch it. Uh, 11. Seven. Two. Not a botch. Uh, <laughs> two is. <laughs> How straight? Oh dear, eight. Uh, that's better than the two. Uh, as you guys follow the friar's instructions, you free it. You get it at the right angle. Everybody jumps in except Friar Thomas, who grabs the back of it, and the boat is carried over the falls on the force of the water as friar thomas hangs on for dear life uh everybody shouts like they're on a disney ride yeah woo! Woo! <laughs> i uh, say this is awesome everybody roll a d20 we'll call it luck you can add your proficiency bonus which i think is two for two. Uh, 19 14 15 <laughs> Seven. <laughs> ah. As the boat pitches down over the waterfall, Friar Thomas, Greg Luganus is it, oh, no. and flies oh. past you. No! Uh, no. Friar Thomas, D12 against me to see if the boat hits you Scalp on the way wound. down. Would I get a dex check to see if I could get into the boat as I fly by? Uh, do you have uh, flight capabilities? <laughs> I do uh, not. I'm sorry. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> that is a negative. That's a negatory. Uh, I say. think I'm going to get hit by the boat. Five. You get? Uh, I got a four. Uh, <laughs> so you are not going to get hit by the boat. You are, however, going to take four hit points of damage as... We all know water is not soft, uh, but you pitch yourself over. The boat lands uh, out of the three of you. Who wants to roll the d12 against me to see if the boat lands on you guys or not? <laughs> My rolls are not good tonight. I'll roll it. Why not? Okay, cool. Right. One. Ah, you hit yourself. <laughs> DM dies. Wait, what? Do I roll? It works, it? Though. You, I you roll a d12. Yeah, anything but a one. I got a five. Uh, yeah. You guys hang on inside the boat. It splashes down. Water pours in, but not enough to submerge you. Everybody looks around. Give me an investigation check to see if you see Friar Thomas. I don't Ooh, see him at 20. all. I say, I say Friar Thomas has disappeared. No, so Friar Thomas is here. 16. Uh, I see myself. That's I see seven. myself. All right. Are you, are you still touching yourself? <laughs> of course. Uh, no one. I will on avert my eyes, but say he is here. No one and Priscilla, you see the uh, floating form of Friar Thomas. Uh, give me a dex check to see if you can grab his robes and pull him into the boat. 19. I got a 16. Uh, Friar Thomas, uh, <coughs> beaten, bloody, and battered, you get dragged into the boat as the current carries it down the coastline. You guys are a magic axe, 400 plus gold pieces richer. Uh, one of you will talk like Foghorn Leghorn for the rest of the day. <laughs> Friar Thomas, despite the magical healing, you have severe arthritis that will hinder your career the more oh, you go. Oh, I said, that's not how that works. It is in Philbar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one shot. Nobody gives a I, I said Philbar sucks. <laughs> uh, but you guys have survived Rorak, Rortak Crips. So, job well done. Carol, what did you think? That was fun. It's always fun. I always enjoy one shot. So, once again, it was another 
Low level game with no fun abilities. Blah, no, that's blah, good. blah. With that's why I, I've decided. That's why I've decided. I'm gonna from now on for these low level games. I'm gonna we're gonna try to create really strong characters that may succeed in spite of my fucking terrible dice rolls. I don't know what's going on, man, lately. John, what'd you think? <laughs> it was really cool. I liked the. Um... The way the the level design was because it was not something like just go to room to room you know like there was a lot of ups and downs to it like three-dimensional ish and to me that's what makes dungeon crawling more entertaining when and i like the puzzle with the boat you know we had to figure that out so i like the fact that it wasn't just a flat you know room to room thing it was more you, know, you had this idea of this goes up and down. There's all kinds of stairways. There's all kinds of things like that. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'll show you the map here. It is 3D. So, uh, but of course, viewers at home, you won't be able to see it. Sorry for your luck. Uh, new Jeff, thanks for being here. What'd you think? I enjoyed it. Quite fun. I'm sad I didn't get to use my bunny. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh did my the bunny God, make that would have been awesome. Now, I know. Hang on. Uh, I gave you the opportunity to sick the bunny on <laughs> your, your uh, assistants who crushed your fingers. But maybe so, yeah. if he comes back, he gets to keep the bunny. Uh, if he uses the same character, he will get to keep okay. the bunny unless it's first level. So, okay. There you go. Uh, so you have a bunny. Uh, that does 1d4 damage and cannot be hit or hurt so, unless the spell magic's cast on it uh last but not least carrie what'd you think i had fun i've never played a rogue before plus an 18 year old so that was awesome nice except for bashing your head on the ceiling i thought yeah was i got tired of like <laughs> failing those rolls that was annoying but otherwise yeah awesome that dice giveth dice taketh yep. away folks Thanks for hanging out with us on a Saturday night. We really appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, I mean our high quality merchandise, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot or the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, uh, let us know. We will get you on there. Uh, Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for dice that didn't kill you guys, although I should use Big Red. Uh, and of course, uh -huh. oddfishgames.com, even though this game doesn't stink, uh, Oddfish Games will be able to help you with yours using an adventure sense. And uh, if you want to write gooder, use the Shine system. So that's something else. Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> folks, we've got the Tri Generational slash Margu campaign. They are in the middle of Corpus Keep with a shit ton of spiders looking for a specific jewel and they are on a quest to find it and they only got six days left to do so. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you for joining us. We hope the rest of your weekend is awesome. Let's give them the big dating game kiss and get the hell out of Dodge. Mwah!